WSBW Weather with Jim Vanderswan. Fog and low clouds. We talk about that in May already, but it gets stirred up every now and then. Cooler air coming in aloft, and we got everybody some sunshine pretty much here. It took it a while to get to it in some places, but nonetheless, you get to see the sun. We had some uh, little buildups over the high Sierra, and that will likely continue for a little while longer. Temperatures not far from normal. 70s up in Boulder Creek, Ben Lomond, 69 Scotts Valley. Nice 74. That turned out to be the warmest. That in Santa Cruz. Downslope winds helping out there. 61 in Marina, Pacific Grove. We got 59 in Monterey, 58 in Carmel. And not much downsloping going on there. It was cool coming in right off the cold waters of the bay. 60s in the Salinas Valley until you got to King City and it finally huffed and puffed and got up to 70 degrees. Made 71 in Morgan Hills, 70 in San Jose, and 5 degrees cooler than that in uh, Hollister. In the Central Valley, got a little bit of that delta breeze going. 76 in Sacramento after a 62 in San Francisco. 20 degrees warmer though in Fresno and Southland. 60s, 70s, 80s. Their microclimates doing pretty much the same deal. And it's cool up in Seattle and Denver in between. Nice in Boise. Got an 82 in Dallas. 56 out there in Chicago. 81 in New York. In Atlanta, suddenly, presto, put on your shorts. It's summer, but it's not going to last long. A low pressure system right here, scattered showers from the northern Rockies all the way back to the Sierra Nevada and down to the Rio Grande. Some of these storms last night, bunch of hail, a lot of lightning, but uh, only one tornado in Kansas didn't hit anything, which isn't hard to do. That low, though, will be pushing out of the plains, still has that warm, humid air coming up from the Gulf there and enough to set off a few thunderstorms tomorrow. Also, just off the Atlantic coast there and into Florida, they'll get a little action. And a low pressure trough that's dropping down out of British Columbia. Shows up right here. You can see the drier air. The low itself is just over Vancouver Island. Another weaker low moved to the south. That probably stirred up a little bit of the inversion layer, which is at 3,000 feet. What's likely going to happen? According to the computer models, the bottom end of that trough comes through, and that will help mix things out a bit tomorrow. As the low comes through, the lid's gone off the marine layer by uh, Thursday morning, but we get some showers in the Sierra Nevada that push pretty close to the coast. Might get into our coastal mountains, but it's the kind of thing that just has to be all in the timing, the heat of the day. Thing pulls out of town in plenty of time for Mother's Day, get a little high pressure ridge going here, and probably take a while to get the marine layer back in business. So, with a good stiff breeze in the morning, fog and low clouds hanging around for a while on the coast, but uh, the sunshine for the valleys. And then in comes the, the wet stuff. And about the middle of the day, the potential is there over the Diablo Mountains and maybe over the Santa Lucias in South Monterey County to pop up a few cumulus clouds. But like I say, by Thursday, it's all moving out and it's all over with. So if you get any raindrops, you'll be real lucky. Probably have to be up in the hills to do it, the way things are looking right now. 60s will do it around most of the Bay Area. We'll do a couple of 70s in the Santa Clara Valley. 67 looks like a good bet for Hollister with a little breeze coming through the chute there. 60s again in the Salinas Valley, maybe some 70s, Greenfield, King City. Lows on the 40s, a little bit warmer along the coast with 50s, and then highs um, about 8 or 10 degrees warmer than that. And slightly warmer up the north end of the bay. Santa Cruz Mountains, much like today, very nice temperatures and a little bit of sun there, too. Fair and breezy out there right now. There'll be some low clouds that return overnight, but probably not as extensive as it was last night and this morning. We'll call it patchy clouds for the valleys. The mountains won't see much of that at all and we'll call it mostly sunny with a good breeze, but cool temperatures. And for the coast, a little local drizzle possible and partial clearing in the afternoon. Best chance for sun, north end of the bay. It probably lingers a little bit longer, that low cloud stuff there in the south end. Slight chance of a couple of showers over the mountains in for Thursday. By Friday morning, it's pulling out of town, and then we warm up the valleys, get you mostly 70s in time for Mother's Day. Oh, yeah, nature's watching out for us. I won't put the slight chance in for perhaps the Santa Lucia Mountains, too, in South Monterey County, San Benito County, over the hills there, but that'll be Thursday after the low clouds burn off, and then we get in some nice weather. So there you go. It's a good pattern. It's called May. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> there you go.